Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. Today we're going to work on the tune uh, The Blackbird. Uh, it's an Irish tune, there's a bunch of Irish tunes with the name The Blackbird. This is the Hornpipe. Uh, I learned this from Quivine O'Reilly um, and Mick O'Brien on one of their excellent albums. I believe it's their first album, which I'm currently blanking on the name of. Um, but I highly recommend checking them out. Great fiddle and pipe, uh, Illin Pipe duet album. Um, maybe that album name will come to me. In any case, uh, the tune's called The Blackbird. It's in the key of D, though it starts on a G chord. Um, I'll play it through once and then break it down into sections. Try to get it by ear. Um, there are, it's a little, kind of a squirrely tune, but I think you can get the hang of it. If you do need help, there are tabs and standard notation, as well as chords, um, to play along with over at mandolessons.com. Um, there's also play-along tracks, so you can play the melody while I play the chords on the guitar, and you can play the chords while I play the melody on the mandolin, and any other way you'd like it. Um, so check that out if you haven't already. Uh, there's also a couple ways to donate if you like these kind of lessons and can want to help me make more of them. It's always appreciated. But for now, I'll play through the tune once and then break it down into sections. All right, sounds like this. One, two, three, four. That's the whole tune. It's got kind of a short A part and then a B part that's longer than the A part and repeated as well. So the B part kind of goes on for a while and the A part doesn't last quite as long as you'd like it to. It's a really sweet tune. Um, it's hard to stop. Uh, I played that one twice through at the beginning there because the first time I played it, I was still trying to remember it. Um, but the second time through, I had it. So if you're going to listen back to that, um, Listen to the second time through. I'll also play it again at the end so you can get a sense of what it sounds like up to speed. So the rhythm on this tune is a little weird, um, but uh, you know, give it give it a listen. Um, try to grab the notes, and if you do need the tabs, they're over at mandolessons.com. First phrase uh, starts in the A string, sounds like this. Next phrase sounds like this. And again. And again. Those two phrases together, that's the whole A part, by the way, um, those two phrases together sound like this. One, two, three, four. We've got a little pick.
pickup that goes between the end of the first day and the beginning of the second day. And that's just four on the D string and open A. So it sounds like this. So let's try that. Let's play the A part twice again with the pickup in between. One, two, three, four. couple pickups into the B section, fourth and fifth frets on the D string, and the open A is the downbeat of the B part. First phrase sounds like this. As I said, it's a little squirrely. Um, I'll play that. I might break it down uh, into half that. So the first phrase those are the pickups. And again. One more time. Next phrase. So that's a that's an interesting one. Let's do that a couple times. One, two, three. again one more time put those two phrases together and it sounds like this one two three Next phrase. And again. Uh, sorry, I lost my place a little bit. All right, so that next phrase. Again. Two more. One more. Put all those phrases together. Sounds like this. One, two, three. That's a that's a tricky phrase. Um, so if you do need help with that, there are tabs on the website. That's kind of a unusual phrase. Um, it's not something you come across every day. Um, so uh, it continues to stay a little tricky, but I think you can get it. Next phrase. This is now into the second half of the B part. Got some pickup notes. So pickup notes are two and open, downbeat on the fifth fret of the A string. One, two, three. And again. And again. Next phrase. 
pickups. Let's do that again. So right here, that phrase and the following phrases are all from the A part. Um, I'll play all of these phrases together and it's actually the last three measures of the A part. Oh, sorry. So those measures are all from the A part. Um, so let's add that one measure before that's different from the A part, that's the second half of the B part. Uh, it sounds like this, with the pickup notes of fifth fret on the A string being the downbeat. One, two, three. put this whole B section together. I'll play it through twice. Uh, the first half sounds like this, etc. So one, two, three. Out of the B part, we're gonna have that same pickup notes back to the top of the A. So, again, just to remind you the top of the A, and then we'll play through the whole tune. Uh, it's it's two A's and then two B's, but remember the A is shorter than the B, so it sounds like there's only a little bit of A and a lot of B. Um, a sounds like this, etc. So, one. Two, three, four. That's the whole tune. So thanks for sticking with it. That's a that's not the easiest tune in the world. And again, if you you've got some trouble spots, there are tabs in standard notation at mandolessons.com. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll play it through one more time, uh, a little more up to speed, maybe throw in some double stops. I'll give you a little. Uh, there is a whole series on um, learning to add double stops to your playing. 
Um, I'll throw in two right now, right off the top of the bat, just as a little kind of extra to this lesson. Uh, the first two chords are yum di dum da di dum so you have this quick G to D, and we can um, add those into the melody. So the, me the melody is going two, five, oh. What we're going to do is just swipe through the bottom three sets of strings and really let that second fret ring out. So we have that two, five, and then we get to the open A string. We're going to add the second fret to the G string. And again, we're not playing the, D, the E string for any of this. So it sounds like this. And if you remember, your melody is on the A string. You really want the A string to ring out. So don't let your notes you're adding in below take over the melody and make it hard to hear. Um, if you want more information like that, again, there's a whole series at mandolessons.com about how to do all kinds of stuff like that. So, here's the tune, a little more up to speed. One, two, three. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.